Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my magic milk experiment. First up, all you need for this experiment, it's pretty simple. You need some kind of shallow dish. I have a flexible pie plate here. You need food coloring. It doesn't matter what colors you have for this one, just some fun color. Um, you need some soap. I'm using some dish soap. That should be what works best. And then some Q-tips to dip it in it. And then you need milk for this experiment too. The milk with the highest fat content should work best, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever milk you have should work as well. And then your first step is to take your milk. You're going to pour it in your pie plate here. You want to make sure you cover the bottom, but you shouldn't need a ton of milk for it to work. And then next you're going to take your food coloring and you're going to do a couple drops around. You don't need too many drops. Um, I'm only going to do a couple. The nice thing about this experiment is it's really easy to set up and replicate, so you can do it as many times as you want. But just for now, I'm only going to do a, a handful. more for good measure. All right, after you got your food coloring in there, you're going to take your soap and your Q-tip, and you're gonna get one really coated. And you're gonna take it and you're gonna to touch it to the milk like this. Ooh, all right. Interesting indeed. All right, and then the reason that this happened is because of the fat content in the milk and then the soap. The soap, once you touch it to the milk, is seeking out those fat molecules. So it's, you can see the movement. Um, this reaction would happen normally, but the only reason we can see it is because we added the color. That's how you get that movement, uh, which makes it really fun and makes it the magic milk experiment. If you're looking to try more variations of this at home, I'd be really curious to see what happened if you tried other kinds of milk or other things that you think might have fat content in it that might work the same way. And then also, if you don't have dish soap and you want to try something else, like hand sanitizer or even laundry detergent, I'd be really curious to see if you had the same reaction, a stronger reaction, or anything else like that. So try this at home and let me know what happens for you. Thanks.